Hi there. Today we're going to look at importing lyrics from Planning Center into Pro Presenter 7. And especially if you don't have it integrated with something like Song Select and you want to import some lyrics that you have in a particular arrangement or however you have them in Planning Center and how to get that into Pro Presenter in the simplest way. So start off by going to your Songs tab in Planning Center and I'll Look for the song that you want, if I could type. And we'll do this one today. Were you there? So what you want to do first is go to the Lyrics and Chords page. And this is where you can have your Lyrics and Chords in this type of format, or you could be in Chord Pro, where your, your chords are in square brackets within the lyrics. It'll work with both ways, because we're going to be working with this right-hand side of the screen and at the top, go to the lyrics format so that it will show you a preview of just the lyrics and it'll also include the uh, headers for verses and choruses. And that's important because ProPresenter uses these headers to break them up into uh, different slides. Now, a uh, simplest thing to do is just select all. So as long as you're clicked in this area here, just go Command A if you're on a Mac or uh, select all, however you do that on your computer, and copy that. Now we need to get rid of some of the extra formatting. And one way I like to do that is just paste it into a basic uh, text editor type of document. So if you go to text edit and just paste everything into there. And I like to go command plus just to zoom in a little bit, makes it easier to work with just clean it up a little bit in here. Uh, things like the, the page number, we'll get rid of that. And we'll get rid of the extra title and copyright information from the bottom. And get rid of the, the header stuff from the top. So we have our uh, verse headers, you can have the chorus bridge headers as well, or the, the group labels actually. And these, you want to make sure that everything is uh, set to as many line breaks as you want them to be on as the slides. So if I'm going to have one line of lyrics per slide, I'll just go in here and double check that my uh, line breaks are where I want them to be. Everything looks good here. This is how I'd like everything to look with one line of lyrics per slide. So then again, I'm just going to select all of this and copy it now that I have it in the format that I like. Then go over to Pro Presenter and go to File, Import, Text from Clipboard. And that will take what we've copied and it's going to make some slides out of that text. And here we can give it a right, uh, cr the right theme. So I want them to be uh, lyrics projector style is what I like to see them as in this section. And I'd like to have one line of lyrics Per slide, so I'll leave that at one. And I'm going to import this into my songs library. I'm not going to worry about a playlist for now, I just like it to go into the library. And then hit import. It will then bring all of those lyrics into, um, into slides. But I want to also add some blank slides in here, so go to the reflow tab at the top here. And first thing I'm going to do is enter an, a blank slide at the beginning. So insert a slide break. And that way this first one I could call intro. So label it as group intro. And then where verse one starts, I'll just have to go there and say group verse one. So now I have an intro at the top that's, that's basically empty. But that's where my, my copyright info I'm going to put on the first blank slide. And at the end, I like to put a blank one, insert slide break there. And we'll call this outro or ending uh, group. And we'll call it ending. Just so that I have a blank slide at the end, again, where my copyright info will show up because I like to have it on first and last. Here, you can also put in any blank slides if you have instrumental sections that you want to leave a, a blank slide in between. 
Like for example, I know between verse three and four, I'm gonna do a key change, and there's a little bit of instrumental section for that, so I'm going to insert a blank slide there, and you can give it a group name if you like. Uh, we'll call it uh, an interlude. And now you can double check that each slide is uh, formatted the way you want it to be. If you like, on a slide like this here, you could um, change where it breaks, for example, like that. I'll just leave it for now. And then go to the Edit tab. And on the first page of the, the Edit tab, this is where you can uh, put in your song information. check on display copyright and a nice handy place to do this is right from Planning Center so if you go back to Planning Center here's the the title section you just go in there copy the, the author flip back to pro presenter put the author in there paste it in copy the CCLI number paste that in there uh, public domain, so that's our copyright. We don't have to put that in there, but we'll just put public domain just for good measure. Um, see, uh, planning Center doesn't show a year, so we'll just leave that blank. So that's all we need in the copyright section. And that will display on the first and last slides. So now we have all our slides in sections. If you want to go the next step, uh, what I also like to do under the notes is to add the, the chords in Nashville Number System. So if you have a, a one, four, five pattern, for example, you can type that in here, but that's another whole stage that you don't have to do. I'll come back to the show button at the top. Now I have my blank slide at the beginning. And now I need to apply the correct looks uh, to this first slide and so I've got mine set up with an audience look for songs so that the lyrics display one way in uh, the in-house projector and a different way for lower thirds on the live stream and our back TV for the musicians is a stage monitor I have that set up in different styles for songs and we'll put this song 4-4 as the look there and now when you click on it then on my projector it's not showing up because I just put a fresh install of ProPresenter here so I'll show you how I format that double check under uh, screens edit looks my songs look I need to have my themes set correctly so on my projector I want my lyrics to be projector style slightly more centered and a little larger text and on my live stream I want my lyrics to be set to my lower third uh, theme that I made and now you can see that my first slide will have my copyright info and if I'm on the projector it will show uh, the lyrics in one way and on my live stream it'll be in my lower third setup and that is how to get them into ProPresenter. And the next stage that I mentioned earlier is adding things like uh, national numbers. If you want to have the chords on the back uh, monitor for your musicians, what you can do is go to the notes section. And first of all, I like to just make the font something that's more friendly to that system. Um, Andale Mono 36 is my favorite. So now if I put chords then I just use whatever number the chord is and dashes for the for the extra beats of that bar and a bar line. So let's just double check what the correct chords are. And that's easy to do by going back to Planning Center to where we were with the lyrics and chords page and go to 
the numbers. Now you can see that they have a, a little intro of just a, the one chord, and then in the verse I have a 1-5-1 one, one pattern. So then if I just shrink this a little bit, so I can see both at the same time, I can go in and add my chords. So if I have one, and when that ends up uh, on the screen at the back, let's, I'll give you a different song as an example. On my layout that I'm using for songs, I have the, the lyric, so the current slide text is the, the current live lyrics. Next slide text is the lyric that's coming up next. And then I have the current notes and next slide notes uh, for the uh, guitar chords. And when we look at what that looks like on the monitor for the musicians, it'll be something like this. So we have four bars of the one chord as an intro, and here's our chords that go with the current lyrics we're singing, and here's the chords and the lyric that's coming up next. And having the dashes and bar lines there uh, makes it visually a little bit easier to read than using a bunch of forward slashes as I used to do. And you can put your minor chords in like that. And that is a nice handy way that you could use the chords without uh, worrying about what key you're in. Nashville numbers uh, work with any key, whether you're capoed or not, so it's a great system to learn if you haven't already. And that is how to enter some lyrics and then the chords, if you like, from Planning Center into ProPresenter. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to write a comment and I'll try and uh, answer them best I can. Thanks.